In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to take an overview of how to use the classic titles in your project. Adobe Premiere offers you quite a collection of titles that you can use for specific kinds of situations. What I have on the screen here is uh, on track number one is a simple video of a guy in a pool. And let's assume I want to use one of the pre-designed title sets. All I need to do is click on the T on the right side and that, that says add titles. And you can narrow this or widen this as much as you want. I'm going to make it wider so you can see what the selections look like. There are two classes of titles. One is motion titles. The other is classic titles. We're going to focus on the classic titles in this particular exercise. Under classic, I have multiple subcategories. First one is general. And under general, I have 10 separate uh, collections of titles. Most of them, as you see, have four variations. Some have three, some have up to five. But we'll focus on those a little later in this lesson. But in general, there are 10. If I want to see the other ones, I can click on the down arrow or the double-headed arrow back or forward. If I go forward here, under entertainment, there are eight, uh, eight selections I can use. Uh, under high definition, the next one, there are 40. So this is the biggest category by far. The next one, slideshow, I have one. Happy birthday are two. Holiday and events, there are nine collections. Kids Corner, five. Memories, five. Movie Genre, seven. New Baby, eight. Pets, two. One for cats, one for dogs. Seasons, five. Sports, six. Travel, seven. Wedding, three. And then the category that says show all. Now, it's a little bit misleading when you look at the categories because some sets occur in more than one category. If you added them up separately, you have fewer titles than that. What I'd like to do now is just help you understand a little bit about the four most common uh, variations of every title. Uh, if you see a title with a blue bar on the upper right, that means it has not yet been downloaded to your computer. And so, in order to do that, all you do is right click. You can say download now or download all. Now all will download all the titles in your version um, of Adobe Premiere. I'm just going to use download now and it will download all four of the, the variations of this picture cube collection. And then the blue bar will disappear once it's on my machine. So what I'd like to do is show you how these four variations work in general. The first one that you find is one called title. I'm going to take the title and drag it and drop it on video track number two. And the titles, not all the time, but most of the time, cover the entire screen. I have my safe zone, I have my title zone, and then I have some text I can use for title. Uh, Obviously, we want to go over and type in something different. So I can click on here, do Control A to select it all, and say um, uh, Box Movie. Now I can also go into my Adjustments panel here, and with that same text uh, selected, I can change the font family. I can change the font size. I can change the color. I can change the style. I can do other kinds of things so I can augment it. Uh, and we have a lesson on how to do all those things here at Sharper Turtle. But uh, that's your basic uh, front end title. Let's look at the other variations we have. The next one that's very common is one's called a frame. I'll take this and drag this next to it. And as you note here, we're seeing some of the track underneath in our frame. Now, I might want part of my movie there. I might want a clip of the movie. Uh, I may need to keyframe uh, that clip so that it appear or resize it so I get a different segment of that clip. 
uh, in this particular section, but this has that transparent area that you can actually have part of your movie or part of something completely different, either a still picture, animation, whatever, inside your frame version of the title. The third common one is lower third. I'll take and drag that on and put that on the screen. Lower third is, as you might guess, in the lower third of the screen. And this is exceedingly common, both in movies and in advertising. Uh, this is where we could say something like uh, uh, director of swimming. And um, this is often a place where uh, you can give information about a person in an interview, that kind of thing. So you have these pre-designed lower thirds. Again, you can't change the graphic, but you can ch change the uh, the text in many different ways. You can augment it with a different shape if you want to add one of your own. But it's a nice place to start, the lower third. That's the third variation. The fourth variation, if I click back in my titles, and the fourth most common, is simply the credits. I'll dra drag that and drop that here. And again, they'll vary. Sometimes they allow part of the, uh, the image in another layer to appear through, and this one does as well. And this is where you can add a title and add a text. Uh, this, this might be my lead character. This might be his role. And you can vary this, the, the size, the shape, uh, this way as much as you want. But it's a nice way to get things started. So these are the four most common variants in each family of titles that you will find in Premier, Premier Elements in the presets. And you can take any of these and modify them as, as much as you want and wind up with uh, something that looks quite different when you're all done. Uh, but that's a little bit of a look at using the presets when it comes to titles and the four most common variations in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018.